Hello everybody and welcome to Merchantosh, the month where we celebrate retro Macintosh computing. So, I have my Macintosh SE that I've had for a little over two years now, I think. And this thing has been great. I love this thing. It's awesome for playing, obviously, old Macintosh games. But there's one thing that I really don't like about it too much. And that's apparent when I turn it on. It's a little loud. It's not overly loud, but it's not really quiet either. So my plan for this video is to replace the fan inside of here, the old like 1988 fan with a brand new silent fan. So let's get to that. So the first step in replacing this old fan with this new Noctua fan is to open this up. And to do that, you'll need a super long T15 screwdriver. There's two right here, and then two right where the handle is. They're right there. So now I'm gonna use my screwdriver to unscrew them. Now I should be able to lift this back part off to expose the motherboard. And I absolutely can. So yeah, this is what the inside of an old Macintosh looks like. You can see my SD to SCSI device that has a two gigabyte SD card on it. Way more than what the Macintosh originally had. So yeah, this thing is a bit upgraded. It has two megabytes of RAM instead of the stock one or even the 158K that the original had. And it also came from a school, so they had, so they might have needed more RAM and storage for something else. But, yep. So this is the component we need to focus on. Now, we need to get it out of this cage, but the screws are underneath. So to take this off, I'm going to remove this label here so then we can get to the screws that hold this in place. So to get these off, I just take my disgusting fingernail. I pull this first pin out. And when you pull that pin out, there'll be a little thing left behind. And then you just pry that out as well. So now I've got more of these to do. So I'll see you in a sec. And then the last one here. And then we can remove this, whatever this is made out of. And then that will expose us to all the pins and traces that are on the analog board. And if I set this up right, it will be easier to show you what we need to do. So for this project, we need to focus on this connector on the board. So these two points here are the negative and positive terminals that go to the fan. The fan runs on 12 volts, so that's pretty standard. I'm going to desolder these connections to the fan, and I'm just going to leave these blank. Now you may be asking why I'm going to leave these just not attached to anything. Well, with this adapter, I can make it work with a Molex connection which is pretty standard on pretty much all PCs, or at least used to be. And it is present on this board over on the other side. So I'm just gonna desolder the fan from these points here and then just wire up the fan using the Molex connector. So let's go down to the garage. So I'm down here in the garage and what I'm going to do next is to Remove this fan caddy here with these four screws holding it on. Going to remove them. So yeah, I'm just going to remove these four screws so that I can get this fan off. I know there's going to be people here who are saying that uh, you should remove the analog board. And I know I probably should, but I don't trust myself that I could uh, put this back together without destroying something. 
So now I've got the fan caddy out. But as you can see, you, you can't really pull it that far. If you look closely, you can see that there is hot glue over where the cables go to the fan. So I need to figure out how to get that off. I figured out how to get it off. Okay, so that's the first piece of hot glue that we need to remove. Set the fan off to the side here. Well, that hot glue has been removed. Okay, I cannot reach that without removing the fan, so. Well, now I have my trusty, dusty, and extremely rusty pair of wire cutters. And now I will never need these things again. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, and before you guys comment, I'm just gonna quote the YouTuber Peter Knetter. There are better ways to do this. I just don't want to do them. So the phone ran out of storage when I was filming, so you didn't really miss much. All you just missed was me getting the hot glue off. Now I'm ready to start soldering. So those are the pins I need to desolder. And to desolder that, I'm going to be using my brand new Hako soldering station that I got for Christmas. I'm doing this in March. Extremely loud fan in three, two, one. This flex just helps the solder melt and flow. And behind the scenes, I'm pulling the wire out of these solder holes. So now here's the last one. So now I've got this wire out, and now I can use wire whenever I need to. So now I'm gonna clean up these, these pads. So now I'm going to grab the brand new fan, and I'll see if I wrecked anything. I hope I didn't, but... So this is the fan that I've chosen, the Noctua NF-A6. So yeah, this is the same 70 millimeter package as the original fan. So now I'm going to replace this in the fan caddy. So, so these are the screws that I need to replace. And again, as you can see, it is the... It is the same size. Okay, now I'll reinsert these screws. And so I'm going to use the adapter that came with it to be used in a Molex connector. So I'm just going to plug. So now I'm gonna put this fan back on the analog board. So there's this Molex connector that used to go to the hard drive, but since we got the SD to SCSI, we don't need that. So I can take this and just plug it in here. That's just more wire. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this cable from the board and then just plug this directly in it. So now I'm gonna to attempt to unplug this I did it, and I'm pretty sure I broke something while I did it, but <laughs> who cares? So after a little, a little bit of cable management, I'm gonna try and plug the fan in. Uh, I don't like this, I don't like how it's working, so I'm gonna not do this. Be right back.
and making sure that doesn't happen again, I will just live with the cable being long. So I've got the fan finally plugged in, and now I'm just gonna screw this back down and put it back together, and I'll see if I blew, if I wrecked anything. And actually, while I'm here, this actually looks like it could be starting to, this solder joint looks like it could be starting to break. So I might as well reflow it. Okay. Oh, I really want this to work. Plugging it in. Three, two, one. Okay. Flipping the power. Three, two, one. Yes. This thing is quiet. I mean, like, you can still hear it, but it's a lot quieter than what it was. Wow. So now I'm gonna go up to my room to test again so you guys can hear the, hear the level and sound. Now the camera's back about as far as it was. So here's a comparison with the old one. And with the new one. And even if you feel back here, it feels like it's pushing out more air than the old fan did. So I not only made it a bit quieter, but I also made it last longer. I won't... Because of this new fan, it'll be able to push more heat out, which will make this thing last way longer. So anyways, thank you for watching me being stupid. For like five minutes. Comment, like, and subscribe. Happy Marchintosh, and I'll see you later. Goodbye, and see you next time.